Um, Dr. Eberlin, you have debated evolutionists on a number of occasions. What is their best objection to your case for intelligent design, and how do you respond? Well, David, uh, normally they don't go case by case. Mm. They don't talk about water, they don't talk about earth, DNA. They always uh, give this really general argument saying that, okay, uh, intelligent cause is not science because it is supernatural and we are only allowed it to appeal to natural causes. And they also come out with this idea that evolution has been proven by many, many articles throughout the, this more than 150 years. Mm -hmm. They say, oh, well, most scientists actually, uh, nearly all scientists agree with evolution. So uh, they, they don't want to go into details. Mm -hmm. The devil is on the details, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they, they, they try to escape from the devil. <laughs> And they, they only appeal to uh, uh, this consensus that they believe that science has now, that this case has been uh, decided already in favor of evolution. Mm -hmm. But I always mention that th this is not true at all. What takes uh, in science f for a theory to be debunked? Uh, many, many scientists? Many, many, many experiments. A posterior has shown that, you know, for uh, spontaneous generation, mm -hmm. it was a consensus that those days, and Pasteur with a single experiment, a single man, a single experiment, mm -hmm. uh, debunked uh, uh, spontaneous generation. So this, the argument that they use are flawed. Mm -hmm. they, they, they are not strong. Uh, we should not take that, those arguments because consensus is not a, a, a scientific proof of anything. Mm. Uh, it only takes one experiment, mm. one set of data to show that a theory that may have been accepted by many is wrong. Mm. So that's what we are trying to do with intelligent design. We are trying to show those guys that they are all wrong. Mm. Well, most of them are wrong and we slowly are being able to do it because uh, more and more scientists are convinced that this general impression that evolution has been proven it's wrong mm. we don't have evidence strong evidence at all mm. we only have this general impression mm. that evolution is true when we when we go into the details the devil is mm. really in there yeah. And uh, when we look at the water, we look at the uh, position of the earth in the planet, the DNA, the structure of DNA, uh, the exchange of ribose by deoxyribose, mm. the exchange of timine by uracil. When we look at the many, many ingenious solutions that we found in the universe and life, we see that this general impression that evolution is more law than the law of gravity, as they used to say. They still do. Yeah, it's just an impression. Yeah. It's an illusion. Uh, it's something that we have to uh, reconsider. And in the, uh, when data is concerned, uh, intelligent design is by far, by far the best explanation for life.